the members wishing to speak to Bill 5? The Honourable um, Member for Calgary McKenna's Hill. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I rise today to introduce an amendment to Bill 5 which seeks to improve quality of life for persons with disabilities by allowing them to keep more of what they earn due to increases in minimum wage. I move that Bill 5, an act to strengthen financial security for persons with disabilities, be amended by striking out section 1, 3 and substituting the following. 3, section 12, 1 is amended, A, by striking out clause C and substituting the following. <coughs> C, respecting the determination of the income of an applicant or client and his or her cohabiting partner, including pro providing for an increase in the amount of the allowable deductions from employment income in circumstances where an increase in income is attributable to an increase in the hourly minimum wage established under the Employment Standards Code. B, by adding the following after clause D, D1, designating assets for the purposes of section 3.1.B.2. Amendment A2. Go ahead, Honorable Member. Thank you, Madam Chair. Unlike most minimum wage earners <clears throat> who get to keep most of their minimum wage increases, when minimum wage increases for H recipients, it counts against their benefits. When minimum wage increases, those who work face the choice of being able to work and contribute less to their communities or having their government support reduced. In both cases, they lose purchasing power and quality of life as the prices of basic household goods increases due to inflation. While other minimum wage earners at least have a chance of keeping up with inflation, the total maximum of earned and supported income for age beneficiaries has not increased since 2012. This amendment would index the amount that an age beneficiary can earn to increases in minimum wage so that they do not lose out on purchasing power every time the minimum wage increases. This isn't a perfect solution in that age beneficiaries earning above minimum wage may not benefit directly from this indexing, but we can do better for Albertans by ensuring those many age beneficiaries who earn minimum wage can do so without worry that their spending power will be continuously eroded. It also bolsters age beneficiaries' ability and pride in working and contributing to their communities. I know this amendment would mean a lot to age recipients who often struggle to get by. Madam Chair, I urge all members of the House to support this compassionate amendment for an important group of Albertans. Any members wishing to speak to Amendment A2? Mountain View. Well, thank you, Madam Chair. <clears throat> and this is a very creative and uh, timely option, particularly as it's been six years since there's been any increase in the monthly income for age people. Uh, and this provides a very rational and uh, income based uh, alternative to the earlier comments I made about indexing uh, this monthly stipend they receive. So I think it's uh, something that I hope the government will seriously entertain and, and adopt because it's, uh, it's truly adding to the support that these folks who are actually below the poverty line, the reality is they live below the poverty line. Uh, th these folks are not getting away with anything uh, to have supplements to to what they're currently getting and even uh, once the their income is brought up to, with the cost of living if, if that ever happens that they get indexing this particular adjustment will simply be uh, a part of that calculation uh, when cost of living and inflation inflation are brought into the considerations for these folks so eminently sensible and uh, helpful and 
I think we should be uh, adopting this amendment. Thank you. Any other members wishing to speak to the amendment? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. And first, I would like to thank uh, the member opposite, uh, in fact, all of them, for their contribution to the discussion on Bill 5. We have discussed Bill 5 over the uh, last few weeks, and I continue to be proud of the strength of this legislation. The foundation of this bill comes from the important work, important consultations that were done by my colleague MLA from Calgary Curry and the contributions of disability advocates <laughs> and Alberta families across this province. <clears throat> bill 5 would allow Albertans with disabilities and their families to plan for the future. It will provide them access to the same tools all Albertans have to save and provide for their families. While the amendment that has been proposed is outside the scope of the intent of the bill and not what individual and families uh, were consulted on, I value its intent. Unfortunately, however, this amendment doesn't actually accomplish what it intends to, as it wouldn't change anything for each client for most part. What this amendment does is refer to an authority which already exists. This amendment doesn't speak to what threshold should be or what kind of change is needed and passing this amendment would not make a huge difference in the lives of Albertans who count on age. And regardless, as I said, I value what I think the intent was to make this program better, but there are 60,000 uh, Albertans who rely on this program, who get supports from this program, living allowance, uh, of 1588 and other benefits, including health benefits, uh, costs of dental, optical, prescription, drugs, and some of the costs of the child care. So it's a comprehensive program. And any changes that should be made, I believe that uh, we need to make them in a thoughtful manner and in consultation uh, with the community. And right now, uh, whatever information we have, we know that a little over 15% uh, people who have employment income who receive support from ISH. So as I said, any potential change uh, would need uh, consultation and would need to ensure that it benefits all Albertans and would, would create any unintended consequences, and I'm sure that member opposite will understand that there is need for more analysis, and I have heard a suggestion from other colleagues as well, and we have done a number of things to improve this program. Like in last four budget, we have added $103 million to make sure that Albertan get the support uh, they need. We also put forward an age action plan which will make sure that this program is accessible to Albertans. And I can say that these are all very good suggestions. And as government, we have always said that we are absolutely committed to looking at our programs to make sure they respond to the needs of Albertans. And I thank the member, and I will certainly uh, take back their suggestion and we'll look at that at a later time. So thank you very much and I will ask member at this point uh, to vote against this amendment. Any other speakers to the amendment? Calgary McKay Nose Hill. Thank you Madam Chair. Um, I appreciate the input from uh, my colleague from Calgary Mountain View and the Minister. Um, 
And, and I would question if the authority already exists to increase the amount of money that a recipient, an H recipient can earn without being penalized, if that allowance, uh, if the power to increase that allowance already exists, I wonder why it hasn't been done already. H recipients are the least able to be able to do anything about their circumstances. And as my colleague pointed out, many people who receive H are living below the poverty line and they're dealing with disabilities on top of being impoverished. And that seems like incredibly unfair circumstances to leave people in if you have the power to make it different for them. It, it is uh, indeed a small improvement. Bill 5 is a good bill. However, my understanding is that the number of PDD recipients that would actually be positively impacted by this bill is less than 1%. And if we have the opportunity today to use the minister's statistic of 15% of age recipients, if we can improve their quality of life today, I cannot think of any good reason to not go ahead and approve this amendment. And, and I wonder if there are any H recipients that would disagree with me. I am very confident that if we were to pull H recipients, we would get close to 100% support for this sort of amendment today. And for those reasons, I implore all MLAs to please vote in favor of this amendment. Any other members wishing to speak to the amendment? Seeing none, we'll call the vote. All those in favor of Amendment A2 to Bill 5, say aye. aye. Any opposed, say no. no. That amendment is defeated.